what's up guys it's walker walk on wheels welcome back to the channel if you've been here you know the vibes if you haven't been here welcome to the channel you've got to learn the vibes baby hey it's chilly today it's 50 degrees it's oh i got a little chilly i'm not gonna lie i didn't wear enough clothes but we out here we ball baby we ball is fall we gotta ride while we can because i mean bro falls in i mean it's here it's full force before you know it it's gonna be too cold to be out here every day so gotta do what we gotta do we gotta enjoy it while we can i suggest you do too i mean depending where you live i don't know where you live it might not even get fall where y'all live so i can't really you know just if it's about to be fall for you you better you better think twice about not riding while you can if you see me trying to see what's up best part about it being chilly and you start is the cold start bro when it's real chilly and you start your bike bro that might be one of the better feelings a lot better than starting your bike when it's hot for sure dude if they keep putting gravel on the road i'm gonna lose my mind i'm gonna lose my mind grom's feeling fierce today as always dude i need a i need one of those little things that i put over my head so it covers my neck from the cold air i'm gonna have to get one of those because holy moly holy mamacita or whatever i don't know what that means hopefully nothing bad because i just said it get it Ooh, i went hunting this morning didn't see anything so i'm kind of depressed right now not really i kind of didn't expect to see much just because of the place that i was sitting i haven't been all year and i've never seen any like signs over there for y'all hunters out there it was kind of shot in the dark dude this guy's flying and on the wrong side of the road didn't even stop did not even stop come on bro hold on a second I gotta look at that was that a boat motor I need one let's see what bros got for sale real quick <laughs> you feel me? what is that An old boat motor that's a little too old for my liking I think I have an old one I think it's like a I don't know if it's a 60s model, but it's a Johnson 8 horse that we got on that little 12 foot John boat. And it's just, it, I need a little more oomph. I think I need like a 9.9 or maybe a 15. 15 would be put, it's rated for a 15. A 15 I feel like will be pretty heavy for that little boat. Especially with me in it, dude. I'm not a small guy, so if I'm taking that little John boat out, it can get heavy pretty quick i mean i think it's rated for like 300 pounds or something whatever i dude i'm just yapping bro i'm just yapping for sure right now probably because i'm freezing my my uh genitalia off right now oh man oh whoa <laughs> coming in hot I always, every time I drive by this strip pit, I always think I need to stop there and ask somebody that lives there if I can fish that, dude. Because that is like primo fishing. Those strip pit, if you guys don't have strip pits where you live, I'm sorry. Because, dude, the fishing is insane. It's just like, there's some parts of the strip pit you can go to and it's genuinely genuinely like guaranteed five pound bass it's crazy that big one i caught a while back i don't know if i put it in the video or not but dude just a monster fish of course it was like completely skinny it was like probably worst time of the year to catch a big bass but bro if if she was full or something that probably would have been a seven or eight pound bass i'm serious dude Those strip pits are crazy and they're deep they're deep too i tried catfishing in it catfishing in those strip pits a couple weeks ago i didn't get any luck 
so I don't know I have it they're hit and miss but for the bass fishing and bluegill it's like it's crazy it's crazy for sure and if y'all don't know dude I'm kind of like a country guy I'm not I don't know if there's a lot of country motorcyclists out there I mean I'm sure there is but I at least I haven't watched a lot of country people that ride or do moto vlogs so y'all might I might be a little I don't know a different I guess if that makes sense Which isn't a bad thing, I don't guess, if you guys are like me, you know. I mean, you don't have necessarily have to be like me to like my videos. Which is the awesome thing about YouTube, dude. <laughs> Speaking of that, we are almost to 3,000 subscribers. We're doing a full face review of 3,000 subscribers, bro. We're close. We're close. So hit that subscribe button for sure. I'm serious, bro. I'm so excited. I need to, once we do the face reveal, I also need to get kind of like a, an actual camera set up so I can do other videos. That's something that I need to figure out throughout the winter because through the winter we're going to be making more, uh, I mean, I'm sure we're going to have to be forced to make different kinds of videos through the winter. You know what I mean? Instead of moto vlogging every video. There will probably be some sort of moto vlogging in the video, but... You guys get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind when it's cold outside is your tires, man. You're not going to have as much grip when it's this cold outside. I mean, it's not freezing, but it's, it's enough to keep those tires cold, I feel like. Because I'm freezing, so I know my tires are probably freezing. So we're going to contain ourselves for a little bit. And, oh yeah, if you've ever seen me go that way and come this way, it's the back way into the town that I live in. It's just a fun way to get here. More scenic. Instead of going right down the highway straight to the middle, it's a lot better to go this way. Plus one of my friends used to live up here. We used to ride four-wheelers from my house all the way into town, into the country club. Illegal, yes, but nobody cared nobody in this town cares at all so for the most part they might i don't know they might now it was a, i feel like it was a lot more lenient back then that was 10 years ago so yo what is bro doing to get a bigger motorcycle the r9 dude dude we should talk about that a little bit the r9 I, there is so much hate since the yamaha r9 got released it's just the only thing i've seen mostly has been straight hate which makes i don't dude from like from a statistic standpoint the yamaha r9 is so much better than the majority of motorcycles that are out today you know what i'm saying because at the, I mean, the price range is crazy. The only price range, low price range motorcycle has been the ZX6, right? Or mid range, I guess you could say. If you're, I mean, if you're talking about 400s and stuff, but Super Sport, I guess, it's affordable like Super Sport. The ZX6, everybody knows, is amazing, and it has the quick shifter, right? And it's thirteen thousand dollars out of the out of the door or whatever. Not out of the door, but before everything. And. The Yamaha R9 has more torque, right? Like, it's going to have more low-end power, obviously, because it's a three-cylinder. So, and it, So, it's going to be better for riding. It has auto blip and quick shifter, which no 600 has, unless you put it on there aftermarket. And, uh, what else? It's a Yamaha. It's Yamaha's design. It's a beautiful bike. I don't know why everybody. Hey, don't fix something that ain't broke. Everybody's like, it's just a copy paste of the the last uh, motors, the R7. It's literally no, it's not. Like if you look close enough, it's not the same. And it's definitely beautiful. So I don't know. Even if it did look just like the R7, I would still buy it. I don't know. They give you all of that. 
all of that stuff all that package all the rider modes and everything traction control i don't know if it has all the wheelie control stuff but dude for 13 grand it's the same price as a zx6 and you get all those those uh gizmos and doodads off the rip so i mean how in what world are people hating on that i doesn't understand i don't understand because honestly the way i see it with the lower the the more lower end torque right and stuff like that it's usable power like like when you're on the road like what i'm doing right now you want torque like you're not gonna feel anything but torque riding like i'm riding right now which is what the majority of people are going to be doing you're and, and it can also do highway stuff don't get me wrong it's it's by no means slow like there's no way it's slow so i don't understand people are like it's not going to replace the r6 yeah it is that's literally what it did and it i mean oh i killed my i don't know bro i don't know how people are tripping on it. i think they're just hating to hate if you want my honest opinion because these people i mean i don't know i just don't understand it sounds like a dream bike to me like for someone who doesn't it's the next like a, it's the next best thing other than a leader bike so let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it that's just my honest opinion this guy's just walking across like an idiot so yeah yeah you're an idiot at least you know there's areas to cross bro just go there you know what i'm saying being lazy isn't gonna get you ran over dog but man that bike is beautiful don't get me started on the white like you, you guys know if you've been around this channel you know the white and the red is like my jam i don't shut up about it white and red white and red because i wanted this uh pearl robotic uh zx6 that's what i want but now that the r9's out i'm kind of like i'm conflicted dude i know it's gonna be a little bit before i get a bigger motorcycle but my eyes my uh my focus might have been shifted slightly i'm not gonna lie to you guys with the colors and everything i don't know dude it's kind of tempting same price i mean i'm curious to see kind of like more reviews on it right because i want to see the seating position i wonder how want to want to know kind of how that compares i mean with like whether it's upright or more of an aggressive seating position because that's some that's a big factor too i mean especially for something like that it's more definitely going to be better for more street riding but <laughs> usable power legal power <laughs> have more fun without getting a felony you know what i mean that's what i the way i see it anyway it's been a sweet little video thank y'all for stopping by y'all are awesome as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe because we're about to 300 wait no 3000 3,000 subscribers. I love y'all. Have a good one. Peace.